In a game like Destiny, there are very few things that can kill you in one hit. There are the specials, which everybody has to earn. There are the heavy weapons, which everybody has to fight over. And then there are the shotguns. You run around a corner and before you even know it, you get blasted away by a freaking shotgun. Of course, Destiny isn't the only game that has this. My hatred for shotguns and PvP started with Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. People used to run around with the Kimbo shotguns and the Commando perk, which increases their melee distance. So everybody was just getting as close as they could to other people and shooting or stabbing each other's faces off. Everybody else just used the Famous, because it was the best weapon in Black Ops. Look it up. It could be argued that the shotgun isn't overpowered in a game like Destiny or Call of Duty because the range is so short. The gun is essentially useless if you're more than five virtual feet from the target. It ends up being the go-to weapon for people who can't get headshots. But even in Destiny, there aren't many weapons that can get one-hit kill headshots. The Hawk Moon could get a one-hit kill headshot if you're lucky enough to use the round in the magazine that has the Luck in the Chamber upgrade attached to it. There are also some sniper rivals that can get one-hit kills, like the... Ephrodite's Spear, or the Gozen F. But those also require upgrades that only apply to one round in the magazine. I don't think one-hit kill shotguns are as much of a problem in a game like Battlefield because the maps are so large, but it still happens occasionally. It seems to be a big deal in CSGO too, but I have no first-hand experience of this. I'm just going by this little comic I found. For me, it seems like the biggest problem in Destiny, where it's the only weapon that behaves like that. Not even the melee attacks are one hit kills like they are in Call of Duty. If someone surprises you with a melee attack in Destiny, you could have a pretty substantial knife fight. You have a chance to retaliate and show your skill. You have to make quick split second decisions. With a one hit kill shotgun blast, you have no chance. And I know that I'm not the only one who feels this way. There's a giant bomb threat about this issue. I think they should nerf the shotgun. It shouldn't be a one hit kill. Maybe a one hit kill headshot, but not a one hit kill body shot. And I'm not usually one to be nerfing things, unless it's Will. Anyway, what do you think about shotguns and first person shooters? Do you think they're overpowered? Do you like to use them? Do you like to use them because they're overpowered? Leave in the comments below, add me on Twitter, all this other social media garbage. Always, the most important things you can do is subscribe, share this with your friends. Please, share this with your friends. It's the best way for us to grow as a channel, to grow as a community. And we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. So that would help us out a lot. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week. Best Buy just threw the pre-orders up at around 3 p.m. without any warning, and those sold out instantly. Toys R Us claimed they would start pre-orders between 7 and 9 a.m. And they were like, you know what? F it. We'll just do it now, at 3 a.m. Yeah, but back then, you would get a turn to play the game. you pass the controller, right. everybody would play the game. These people nowadays, when they watch a Let's Play or a stream, they're not necessarily playing it. But it's still fun to be there with your friend that's playing the game.